Hello world and welcome to today's motivation. I'm Jory, stay tuned. Today I want to talk to you about drawing close to God. Keep watching. So it's January and for many of us, our churches are participating in the 21 day Daniel fast. And the purpose of the Daniel Fast is to grow closer with the Lord, um, gain greater insight into what um, God is saying to us, to fine tune our ear so that we can hear the voice of the Lord. Um, one thing that I do find often that has happened to me in the past and has happened to countless others is that sometimes you feel as if the voice of God is very faint <clears throat> and it's very distant from you. And you really can't hear him the way that you'd like to hear him. Um, and why is that? Ultimately, it boils down to us not being fully connected into the life source. So take, for instance, a lamp. You have a lamp um, that is sitting on the counter and when you go to turn it on, it kind of comes on and it flickers on and off. That's because the connection, the, the outlet, it's not plugged all the way in. That can happen to us spiritually. If we're not plugged all the way in into the light source, into the source that is going to give us light, our light can be a little bit dim. It flickers on and it flickers off and it's not illuminating the light that it has been designed to give. And that is what um, happens to many of us. We are, not, we are not all the way plugged in. So how do we get all the way plugged in? It's simple. It's simple, but I think we make it a little bit more difficult than it has to be. If you purpose within yourself, I say that a lot because a lot of it has to do with just that. Everything that we do in life starts with a decision. We, it starts with a thought. We have a thought and then we, have, we decide. We either decide to do it, to follow through on the thought, or we decide not to follow through on the thought, whether it's good or bad. Okay, so let's get this down. Once we purpose within ourselves, and when I say purpose within ourselves, all I'm saying is once we come to a decision and we decide that we are going to do something, we set out and we do it, we accomplish it, okay? So number one, we need to decide that we are going to spend the time daily in the Word of God. And how do we do that? By taking, there are different, many different devotionals that you can that you can have connect with your church, your local church. If you don't have one, leave me a comment down below and I will get you one. Um, there, there's just many different outlets. Go, go, open up your Bible, go to the book of Psalms, go to the book of Proverbs and read one Psalm and one Proverb every day to get started, okay? Get started reading the Word of God. Get started becoming acquainted with with what God has to say, okay? The Bible is full of all of the good information that God wants to get to us. And this is how you get plugged in. The Bible tells us that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. How are we going to be built up? We are built up by the word of God. It is what produces and ignites and strengthens our faith. So this morning or today, I encourage you to get into the word of God to help fine tune your ear to the things of God, okay? Um, I've heard it said that what you focus on longest becomes strongest in your life. If I am giving my constant attention over to things of the world, to secular media, to you know Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all those many things that we can become distracted with, if I'm giving all of my time and my energy to those things, those are the things that are going to be strongest in my life. Those are going to be the things that help to shape and mold my thoughts and my actions. However, if I decide that first thing in the morning, first thing before I start my day, I'm going to have a conversation with the Lord. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Father. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Lord, thank you for this day. Help and lead and guide my steps today. God, I submit this day to you and I ask you to have your way in me. And then I sit down in my pretty pink chair, in my pretty pink office, and I open up my word and I begin to dive into this word and I ask God to illuminate this word to me because he told me in Ephesians that the eyes of my understanding will be enlightened 
to know what the hope of his calling for my life is so I can get into this word and he will begin to reveal to me all things pertaining to life and godliness, all things pertaining to to Ray. God will begin to show that to me if I purpose within myself, if I decide that I am going to spend time with him and with him first. And then everything else after that, my day after that will be formed, it will be shaped by the time that I've spent with him in his word. Then after spending that time with him in his word, my actions and my thoughts and my feelings are all starting to line up with what his promises are or what his promises are for my life. That all begins to line up. Now, now my ear, I can hear him closely. So during this time of fasting for many of us, during this time of fasting, that should be our focus. Our focus should be, Lord, what is it that you want me to know? What is it that I've fallen off of? What is it that I, how is it that I've gotten off track? How do I need to get back on track? Where is it that I need to work on to improve in order to be a better representative for your kingdom? And that's what we should be searching for and striving for in this season. The Bible tells us if we draw near to him, he will draw near to us. Jeremiah 29, 13 is the scripture that our church has been standing on. It says, if you seek me with your whole heart, you will find me and we are seeking God we are searching for him we are moving things out of the way we are looking for him because we want to find him I want to find him I want to know him in such a greater way in this season so I encourage you to do the same get back into right position what is it that you need to what adjustments do you need to make get into the word of God find out what it is that he wants you to do for your life in this season and in this time and watch and see the great things, the greatness of God unfold. He's a great father. He loves us so much and he has so many great things in store for you today. So today I encourage you spend time in the word of God. Set this time aside to get to know your father. He's a good dad. Thank you so much for spending this time with me today. As always, like and share. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and help me spread the word. When you have an opportunity, step on over by TorayPeoples.com and check out great things and updates coming. Family, as always, have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video.